Hello everybody, how are you? This is Andrea and welcome to a new Drawing Time episode. Today I will be drawing with mixed media using both my watercolors and regular colored pencils. I've drawn this illustration a few months ago and I actually thought that I've recorded the sketching and tracing stages, but I am not sure if I lost the data or something else happened because I cannot find any of the clips. So sorry about this abrupt start of the video, but looks like we will jump immediately onto the coloring part. Here I've drawn some super basic thumbnails. This is how I decide on and create a color palette. I don't usually do this with digital art since it is so easy to modify the colors at any time. But with traditional medium I really need to put in the extra effort at the start so that I don't mess up. Now that I've added water and activated most of the paints, I can start coloring the thumbnails. At first I was leaning towards muted pastels, but then as I was approaching the fourth thumbnail and painted it with brights, I fell in love and decided to go with that one. Okay, so now that I've set the main colors that I want to use, I can begin painting the real one. This is basically a traced version of a drawing from my sketchbook. I don't really like losing my sketches, so nowadays I prefer to scan them onto my computer, size them up or down, or even modify them a bit if there are any anatomical issues or anything similar. Then I print it on normal printer paper and then I trace it on thick watercolor paper with colored pencils. I really like using my polychromos for that because they will not smudge as I use my watercolors on top. Oh, and speaking of materials, I am also using my custom watercolor palette. If you want to see how I put it together, I have a video showing the full process. Also, don't forget that you can find the full list of materials, including links to the stores, in the description box. At the time I drew this illustration, I was obsessed with the song and I kept on listening to it on repeat for days. And I think that I mentioned this before, how I kind of rely on music to create certain types of illustrations. You Well, every now and then I find a song that somehow clicks a button in my brains that causes this intense creative rush and I keep on getting these weird flashes of ideas and shapes and colors. Sometimes it is quite abstract, but other times, like in this case, it was a very specific idea of, I guess, this girl almost getting high on art and colors it kind of sounds so weird when saying it out loud and it is really difficult for me to express it in words but this is just my clumsy attempt at drawing this weird feeling or idea that this specific song inspired and this was just one of the many flashes of inspiration or however you want to call it that this song caused i think i was obsessed with it for two full days, just sketching at every opportunity, trying to dump all of these ideas of my overloaded brains. I don't know if there is anyone else that experiences a similar thing with music or other sorts of stimuli like certain smells or colors or patterns or sounds. I actually now wonder if what I experience it is kind of similar to ASMR I, I don't know, who knows? But honestly, I am kind of glad that I don't find these kinds of songs that often because 
as fun and exhilarating as it can be, it is extremely tiring and I can't focus on anything else when it happens. So maybe this is what she represents? Someone exhaling or overflowing with creativity? Maybe? Who knows? Alright, so at this point I've done all of the work with watercolors, so I can start refining the details with my polychromos pencils. You will see me outline the face first because it needed the most work. Then I move on to some of the clouds, then the hair and then do the rest of the clouds. I really love polychromos because they are so vibrant and opaque. And even though a large portion of the illustration was done in blue pencil, I was still able to go over with yellows, oranges, reds and pinks and achieved almost complete coverage. The hair looks so much better after using the pencils. Even though I am mostly just outlining the line work, it is giving the whole illustration much more volume and depth. I was so tempted to color in the hair even further, but I was on a tight schedule, so I had to settle with what I've had done within the time frame I had. And this is pretty much it guys, I hope you've enjoyed my video. I am thinking of scanning, cleaning up and maybe offer this illustration as a print on Etsy. Emotive portraits are always my favorite to paint. I think this one could look quite lovely actually framed on a desk. Alright, it is time for me to go. As always, thank you so much for watching, take care and I'll talk to you again next week. Bye!